The very first thing I did for this project was to chalk my beads. I did this by using a strip of black craft foam which I purchased from a local department store and the Bumblebee Chalkology paste. Didn't it turn out cute? I chalked a total of three in all to use at the end of this project. After chalking them, I will set them aside and let them dry totally and then we'll cut them out. And now for the surface. For this project, I decided to combine two transfers from the Bee's Knees collection. First, I chalked the honeycombs from the Beehive transfer with bumblebee chalk paste on a five by seven box frame surface. Oh, how cute. Now, I'm gonna dry this. It's very, very important that when you are layering or adding other sections, that you have it completely dry and back to room temperature before laying the other transfer down. Just chalk, remove the excess and put it back in the jar, peel and reveal. Oh, it is so cute. Now I'm gonna add the word honey from the home is where your honey is transfer. I am making sure that the word honey is down smooth and there are no air bubbles. Now I'm going to chalk with the black velvet chalk paste. Oh, how cute. And now for the fun part, adding the bees. After cutting them out, I will glue them down on the surface with a special glue that I found online. I'm drizzling just a little bit on the top of the surface to make it look as if honey is dripping down all over. I think the gold of the glue makes it look so cute. and just a little bit of drop of the glue for the bees. And now, every good honey maker needs a honey dipper and I'm gonna add the gold glue to the honey dipper as well, and then last, add a bee to it. Drizzle a little bit of honey around the honey dipper, and what have we got? If you like what you see and you want to see more, please visit my online store.